So, you know, the Super Bowl is coming up. Woohoo! Yeah, so just very soon the Super Bowl is going to be here upon us. And Rick, let's talk about when a Super Bowl commercial is not a Super Bowl commercial. That's a good question. So the Super Bowl lasts for about 18 hours or so, a lot of people think. Uh, but really, during that time of the game, it's a Super Bowl commercial. After that, it's another commercial. It has the cachet of a Super Bowl commercial, but it's not anymore because what it does is it gets put in the rotation now of other TV shows right. or other places where they want to play the commercial. So the commercial is a Super Bowl commercial created, thought about, but the next day, it's just another commercial. Now, a lot of commercials are like this. When you shoot the spots for Major League Baseball, for stuff specifically for the Emmys or the Oscars, people don't realize they're commercial shots specifically for all those events, not just the Super Bowl. Uh, okay. But the Super Bowl has the cachet of the, being the big granddaddy. Right, because it's like famous for the commercials. People always talk about, I'm going to watch it for the commercials when they're not football fans. It's just like all about the commercials. Almost like kind of overtakes the game in a lot well, of ways. Well, it depends on who's playing, yes. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, but you, so you've done over 50 Super Bowl commercials when you lived in Hollywood and you found that telling people that when you once you had moved to Pennsylvania really shifted the perception yeah so I mean the Super Bowl has this this aura about it right the, the game itself the commercials everything about it so I was at this networking meeting one night and people were talking about I've been a chemical engineer for 30 years and I can't find a job I've been doing this for 15 years and I can't get a job I've got two MBAs from Harvard and I can't get a job and I, I, it was <laughs> really sad, depressing sad event, huh? it was really sad and so out of, out of the blue I just said god this is really boring and I you know I've said I've done over 50 Super Bowl commercials and the whole room went and you could just feel the air being sucked out of the room when I said that and I realized oh in LA it's commonplace for a lot of people to do Super Bowls. Right. But when you're outside of Philadelphia, not everybody knows someone or has much less has worked on a Super Bowl spot. Right. Which is just like every other commercial, really. It's same crew, same people, same everything. It's just that it has a bigger name to it. Right. But let's so let's talk about how that differentiates you from like all these other video people. Like so when you switch gears and move from LA to to the Philadelphia suburbs and we're shooting small business commercials that was a big differentiator for you. Well, it was because people realized I wasn't the wedding videographer. I wasn't the guy that showed up with a camera and, okay, I got the gear. What do you want to shoot? Because that's not what good video is. That's perfect. Uh, what do you want to shoot? Because as a business owner, you don't know what you want to shoot 90% of the time, right? Um, you want to have a video. Maybe you want to have a whole series of videos and you have an inkling perhaps of what should go in it. But a lot of people, they don't really know what's going, what needs to be in, and they that's don't. where you come in. So one of the things about a Super Bowl ad is it's the strategy, right? They people they start working on these things in June or July, and I've shot them as soon as August for the Super Bowl, and I've also shot on January day. Cause first, that's when uh, a lot of celebrities and stars are available to shoot because they're not doing anything else. <laughs> uh, so those star spots, but the strategy that goes into it, though, where's it? Why are we doing this? When are we doing it? What do we want to get? All that stuff that goes into it is all in the prep and the planning. It's not, right. hey, let's go to this location and shoot a Super Bowl spot. <laughs> you don't just like randomly I wake mean, that, up one day. <laughs> right. That, that would be crazy to do, right? That would, right. And so if, even if you're a small business, if you're a one-person operation, you don't want to just show up at the camera and go, okay, I'll talk. It's crickets, and it's never cohesive, and it's never right. So what's that strategy? What's that planning? Yeah. And when they think, when the agencies are looking at this, they're thinking about, you know, what what's the ROI we want to get? What 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 do we want to do with this video? Okay, next, where's the audience? Well, they're watching the Super Bowl. That's the easy one on this one. What's the platform? On this one, again, it's easy. It's the national TV. But, you know, what's the product we want to sell? What are we trying to do? Are we educating? Are we selling? Are we doing a brand awareness? There's all these other factors that you have to think about in any video, not just a Super Bowl video. Right, for any small business video. Right. So you take all these into account for every video that you do that has a purpose. Now, sometimes you just want to do that little selfie video because you're on vacation or you just want to just crank something out. That's fine. But a lot of times, if these are planned shoots where you've got a crew, whether it's three people or a hundred people, you have to do a little bit of thinking. So you're A, getting the right message and B, being efficient with time and money because this stuff costs money. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that's a really a really great point is, you know, you want to be efficient, you want to plan it out. Even if there's only one or two people coming to work with the uh, with the uh, with the entrepreneur. Right. And the, and usually you're running the business. You don't know what to do. 
I mean, the people who work at Budweiser are not the ones planning the commercial and shooting. And you know, they're not. Hey, here's a dog. Oh, here's a horse. Hey, I got a barn. <laughs> this, these are things that are thought about, <laughs> that are well prepared. I mean, there's a barn that everybody uses in LA, that and it's this beautiful barn, I and mean, you can eat off this thing. And it's just you plan these things for the best you can possibly get. Right. So when you're thinking of your next video. What do you want? What are the messages you want to get across? Where is it going to be? Who's the audience? Like these are all the factors that come into play. Right. I mean, it's no different than when you're doing writing for blog posts, oh, or, or for web, or, or anything. Yeah, right. absolutely. You've got a plan. It's, You've got to know all these things. It doesn't just happen instantaneously. There's a plan right. and a prep part. Right. So a Super Bowl commercial is not a Super Bowl commercial the day after, but it has the cachet of saying it was a Super Bowl commercial. Right. After the fact. You Very know. good. So. There you go. Thank you very much. And if you want to know more about video, Rick Toon is your guy. Been doing it a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had my first Super Bowl spot in 1993. Mm. Maybe that's dating myself. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say that. <laughs>